Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the ways in which the Java program can handle input and output. Now, why do we require input and output? Consider an application that does not take any input from the user and does not give any output to the user, neither to the screen nor to the database, does not change anything in the network and has no input from the user as well, neither from the keyboard nor from the network nor from the database, nothing. What type of application is it? It's more like a movie that you are watching right now. So to avoid such a catastrophic thing, where most likely in our Java applications, we will definitely use some form of input and some form of output, either to the file or to the screen or to the network or to the database. So let us see how we can handle them. So there are two ways in which Java handles files. Java handles text files and Java handles binary files. What are text files? Text files are normal files which we handle in every day-to-day -day life. These can be called as ASCII files where the information written is in the ASCII form or, or if you can think of it in an international way, it can be in a Unicode form as well. This is one of the famous ways in which we use generally files and they can be transported from one computer, computer to another as well. There are ways in which the application handles binary file where it is a specific type of application or a program that reads or writes data that is specific to that application generally. And these are used because the binary files reading and binary files writing are way more efficient than working with the text files. However, because they are not application independent, uh, they have a limitation. The Java works around with that limitation saying that the Java binary, Java binary files are platform independent. That means wherever the Java application is written, the files which are written on any platform would be the same when you are using uh, the JVM. But we will primarily be using text files uh, and it is uh, also a very standard way to use now. Java also works around streams. Uh, what are streams? Uh, any any input output that is performed in Java that is performed through streams and uh, rather streams help to perform uh, input output. They are an abstraction uh, where, uh, where either we produce some information or we consume some information. The streams are linked to the physical devices in, in, in Java. These can be any of them, either can be your keyboard, your can be your, your hard disk, it can be any file. The good part about Java is that all the all the inputs uh, either from any of the devices are handled in the same way. And similarly, all the outputs uh, are handled in the same way. So that's the greater advantage of streams. So we have a single stream for input, whether we are taking input from the keyboard, whether we are taking input from the file, from network, from database, they are handled in a similar manner. And similarly for the output as well. That, that solves a lot of problem from me as a programmer. Also, we know that the streams are an object uh, and, uh, and they primarily help us uh, to handle these particular inputs and outputs. When we work around exactly how streams are handled in Java, there are two ways the streams are handled. Either we handle the streams through byte or we handle the stream through characters. The bytes are general way in which we have discussed earlier that, uh, that they are used for reading and writing in the binary format, primarily because of the fact that they are, they are traditionally more efficient. However, in the character form, if you are reading and writing, they, they make the application more uh, inter inter internationalized. That means they can be transported to any of uh, the platform because they generally use the Unicode format for reading and writing. That, that makes it, it, it way more uh, usable. And also because we are reading in bulk, that also make them far more efficient even than the byte. Traditionally, Java 1 only supported byte streams. But because of the fact that uh, we are now in a position where the character streams can even be more efficient than byte stream. So generally we will use character streams even for the efficiency purposes as well. There are various classes in which byte streams are used in Java. Primarily the java.io package provides these classes and there are two major abstract classes from which all the concrete classes are derived. They are input stream and output stream. So all the byte streams are handled uh, by subclasses of input stream and output stream. Either we are handling through buffer, uh, they are called buffered input stream, or uh, we are handling uh, in the form of a array that we are reading and writing in the form of an array. So we, we use uh, the data array input stream or data array output stream. 
we want to read and uh, write uh, from the different types we may call data input stream and data output stream we can use from the file we want to read and write in the byte format we use uh, file input stream file output stream and there are various other ways if you want to read from an object we will use object input stream and object output stream if you want to work in a pipeline manner we use piped input stream piped output stream and uh, in the similar manner so whether we want to work in a buffered manner that means we are reading uh, something and we are buffering before inputting or outputting that that makes the efficiency a bit faster whether we are working from the array we are working from the object we are working from the file that means input and output from them or we are working in the object all of them uh, have the specific classes where we are reading and writing uh, uh, to those uh, particular uh, types either either in the either in the array or in the file or in the object whatever may be or we can use buffer we can also use uh, a character uh, based uh, inputs in the in the form of character input streams where primary classes are reader and writer these are again uh, abstract classes and the character input streams are also uh, provided uh, through java.io package so now uh, like in the previous cases where we have seen for the byte input stream we can also work in the character input stream all the classes which are which are handling uh, the data input or output in the form of character are subclasses of reader and writer we can see that we can we can read and write from the file in in the character oriented manner we can read and write from from uh, from or to the array as well we can do many more things uh, when we are doing uh, from the string and so on so we can also handle in the buffered manner uh, the character streams so this was primarily when we are dealing with the uh, with the streams in the input and output manner in the next class we will uh, in the next session we will discuss about